And so then, one more question for pastors. If you were going to do a two-minute, if 90% of the Christians don't understand this, and it, it's, it's a method that the Holy Spirit uses to transform lives, then what would be your advice to active ministers of the gospel about this information? Well, they need to go to the cross themselves, because if they understood it and knew how to teach it, then more of their people would, right? So the majority of this book, Pastors to Pastors, some of the people in the pastors. 20, 30, 40 years before they understood it. So my, be sure, first of all, he knows that that's become a reality. They give testimony of when his life was transformed as a believer. So the cross became a reality. And if that's real for him, then he needs to learn to articulate it one to one instead of people come to him chewing his ears, oh, I'm not going to do anything anyway, uh, and working on all the symptoms, all the behaviors, and the treatment, and just leave him to the cross. A lost person comes to you, you don't try to figure out every sin, you leave them to the Lord Jesus, right? A Christian comes to you, you don't try to figure out all the behavior, you leave them because if they die, they'll get over it. Ah, great advice. Yeah, you're right. If a lost person comes to a minister, they're going to lead them to yeah. Christ as Lord. Yeah. If a Christian person comes to a minister lead them to with the all cross. these various symptoms, lead, lead them to the cross. Lead them to die to themselves, yeah. crucify themselves. And and lots of times that can happen in one session if they're hurting badly enough. Him, and once I can get that concept. I had one Baptist pastor. We stopped at a church in it was Kansas City on a Sunday morning. I recognized the exit. And so we pulled off and we were a little early. And, and my friend was the pastor. So he asked the teacher to step aside and let me teach. The teacher was a retired 69-year-old Baptist pastor. How they minister because of three unnecessary coronaries. So I shared a little bit on rejection identity and then shared that line diagram. When I got finished, he said, I have to see you. Next week he came to my office to build victory in one hour. He'd been defeated for 48 years. Been a Christian 48 years, so he was in the wilderness eight years longer than the children of Israel. But he found victory in one hour's time. What happened, his parents split when he was 12 years old, and both of them told him they didn't want him. So he had to get a job and find a place to live when he was 12 years old. And he had all that conflict inside all of his life. Got saved at 21, but saved from sin, but he wasn't saved from himself. 